Inclusive engagement isn't just a matter of what and how you say something, it's also about who is doing the talking. It's important to showcase the diversity of people involved in doing science so that audiences can see themselves represented. This increases the likelihood that people will consider science as something they can participate in, either as engaged citizens or as scientists themselves. But what does this mean in a practical sense? Firstly, look at the materials you're using in your engagement activity. If there are people represented, what do they look like? Are there people of different skin tones, genders, ages, and disabilities? If your materials refer to people with pronouns, do you default to he, or do you use a mix? The next part is a little trickier. While you want to invite a mix of people to be the public face of your engagement, pay close attention to who is shouldering the workload. Women, people of colour, and less senior members of staff historically do more public engagement, perhaps because they understand the importance of representation, but this means they often end up doing most of the work. Luckily, there are ways around this. Engagement isn't just being face-to-face -face with a group or audience. There are plenty of tasks that come before the final product. From brainstorming, to organising materials and dates, to physically making resources. Aim to have a wide range of perspectives in your planning team so that everyone shares the workload and the satisfaction of doing great public engagement.